What's up guys, Tommy here from Green Rhino Carpet Cleaning, located here in Paso Robles, California. So today I'm gonna give you some insider tips, some DIY advice for treating those spots and stains in your carpet. So, the stuff's golden, so get your notepads out. Get ready. Where or what do I use to clean spots? What's safe? Because um, a big deal with treating carpet Treating stains in your carpet is wood is safe, right? Because you don't want to put anything on there that's going to set the stain and make it permanent, right? Or damage your uh, carpet, okay? Um, so, so, safe alternatives that you can get locally. Um, here's here's a few right here, okay, guys? So this is what I recommend to my customers when, they're, when they ask me that. And no, I'm not the type of carpet cleaner that's gonna say, well, when it happens, just call me and, and I go over there and charge them my minimum, okay? I believe in um, you know, giving the customer the information they need to, uh, to treat the stain so it doesn't set permanently and make sure they use the right product because they're gonna use a product anyway, whether it's under the sink or a product that's recommended for stains, but through being a carpet cleaner, and dealing with stains, a lot of these products are actually setting the stains. Okay, so um, be careful what you get over the counter and um, kind of realize that that uh, not all advice is good advice, okay? So, I'm going to give you some professional advice here. Now, these are some products you can get locally. Um, and uh, some of these products I use, well, one of these products I use on a daily. I want them out on the job. So we're going to go down the list here, okay? So first of all, I want to talk about um, just regular spills, okay? Regular stains here and there, or just soil from the kids walking in and out of the the uh, the house, you know, muddy feet. Uh, just regular spills and spots, all right? What's safe? Well, I can tell you what's safe. A safe product that you can get anywhere. Pretty much, it's simple green. This stuff is no residue. That means it's not gonna uh, leave a residue in your carpet that's gonna attract more soil. Um, basically, soap-based products leave a residue. You're not gonna be able to get it all the way out unless you do a whole bunch of rinsing. That would be from a, a truck mount guy, right? But if you're at home, you're, you're, spot, you're uh, treating a stain, or rather a spot, then you want something that doesn't leave a soap-based residue, which will not track soil like a magnet. Okay, so this stuff right here works really, really good. Um, it's safe. Um, and you can depend on this for your uh, daily spot. So, so what you need to do is go ahead and buy a bottle of this. Dilute it as necessary. Um, if you get the larger uh, gallons, then then read the direction to dilute it because it actually tells you it's, it's good for carpet. But um, for this video, this is a already mixed, but you can still dilute this stuff. Well, actually, no, this is concentrated also. Okay, so you can dilute this down, or you can use it full strength. Okay, it's not going to hurt it full strength, but it's just not necessary, right? So if you got a spot, you know what you want to do is just. Spray. Okay, let's let's go over here to this. Okay, here's a here's a spot right here. Don't know what it is. This is our doormat. Okay. Whenever you treat a spot, what you want to do is blot it. Okay, blot it from the beginning. And then once you got it all out, you know, then you can start to see that. Then you can start to wipe. And I always use a, a white rag or something that's been washed and washed and washed over. So this is kind of like a yellowish one, but this is really old. It's not going to transfer any color. So make sure when you guys are treating carpet, don't use colored uh, rags like green, red, especially red. Red's a nightmare. Um, sometimes you can get color transfer. Uh, I don't think necessarily with any of these products, but 
it's a safe thing to do. So use white rags, don't, never use red or any color, okay? So, that's it guys, simple green. So this is something you can use that's gonna be safe on your carpet and you're not gonna to have to uh, worry about damage or residues left over. So once it dries, go ahead and do your vacuuming and everything. Okay. Another product that is safe and leaves no residue is Fabulosa. Fabuloso. Okay. Um, these two products are products that there are carpet cleaning companies. This is what they use to clean carpets. Okay. They're professionals. That means people pay them to clean their carpet. And they use this on a daily. Now, I don't use it, but they do. So you can check out their channel and, um, and uh, watch them on a daily using these products. Uh, Joe Wheeler is the uh, YouTube channel. And I'll leave that link below. So that's just kind of proof that, uh, that this stuff works. So what I do recommend to all my customers to go ahead and get a bottle of simple cream, put it underneath their sink, and whenever they have a spot spill, go ahead and treat it with that. Okay. Now, that's spots. Let's talk about stains, guys, because stains are the, the, the real problem, right? Stains are, by definition, the permanent, right? So it's, it's uh, really critical to get to that as soon as possible. Um, you know, uh, if you have pets and, um, they happen to have accidents on a daily or once a week or whatever, and you see it happen, first thing you want to do is go ahead and treat the spot, right? Spray it with the symbol green. So I don't have any urine on this thing, but this is exactly what you would do. Okay. All right. Soak it all up. Get it all as much of that urine out of there as possible. Okay. So, once you got all the urine up, you're probably gonna have a stain there. Okay. If you don't see it now, later it's gonna uh, appear. So what we use a lot of is 20 volume peroxide. Clear. This is you can get from Ch Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, make sure it's the blue label, clear, and you, no need to dilute. Okay, so you go ahead and get yourself a spray bottle. Okay, right now I have it in this. If you're, um, if you go buy this and um, you want to put it in a in a spray bottle, make sure you put it in a white or a dark um, kind of a bottle because. Clear, it reduces the power of the, the peroxide. Or just keep it in the, the gallon and just add to a clear one and use it right away, okay? So what you'd wanna do then, after you've treated it with the Simple Green or the Fabulosa. And for Fabulosa, by the way, you need to dilute also, delete as uh, the directions say. And then, um, then you wanna follow it up with the 20 volume peroxide. You hit it, okay? and let it sit. There won't be a stain when it dries. Say you, um, you walk into the house and you see a stain. Say it's been there for a long time, okay? What you need to do is go ahead and do a good vacuum because it's dry, right? Then take the 20 volume peroxide, spray, and 99% of the time it'll disappear right in front of your eyes. Let it sit, let it dry, and your stain is gone. So 20 volume peroxide, guys, is your uh, pet stain removal miracle. I know a lot of people are using that Folex. Um, I don't wanna uh, talk too bad about the product, but the product, uh, most of the time, is setting stains. <laughs> it's meant for, it's meant for uh, pet stain, yet it sets them. So I don't recommend Folex, guys. I recommend 
20 volume peroxide. This is from experience on a daily basis. Whenever I get to a stain to where, to where I, uh, I can't uh, remove it, it's a urine stain and it won't go nowhere, I ask the customer what do they treat it with and a lot of times it'll be a product like that, right? Folix. So, if you want a professional advice, that's what you need. Okay, now let's talk about, uh, oh wait, first of all, before we move on to this. So 20 volume peroxide will work on anything organic. So wine, blood, uh, urine, we talked about that. Coffee, okay. Um, anything organic. So what this is, is a, it's a coffee stain right here. All right. It's not really old. But, you should be able to get the point, okay? Gone. So I didn't even clean this thing yet. I didn't use the simple green yet. But you can see it just disappeared on that side. Now, if you just had that spill, First thing you want to do is hit it with a simple grain, okay? Um, clean it and then follow it up with the 20 volume peroxide and you, your stain will be gone 99% of the time. Now, if somebody's using um, creamers in their coffee or some of these um, some of the different, different coffees that have artificial coloring in them, then you may not get uh, great results with that, okay? Because artificial coloring takes a different product. So if you try, if you if you treat your coffee and it doesn't uh, disappear, then you you want to try it with you want to treat it with something uh, that takes away artificial coloring. All right. So ammonia, clear ammonia, clear ammonia is for for stains that. Um, are artificial colors, okay? A Gatorade, Kool-Aid, okay? Those nightmare stains that you get right in the middle of your white carpet, and uh, it stands out like a sore thumb, um, and uh, you gotta pay a carpet cleaning guy to come out here and, and steam it out for you. Okay, so, so first off, before you go to that, before you have to call a carpet cleaner to do that, go ahead and get some clear ammonia, dilute it, Okay, I think it's about, um, I think it's about quarter cup to, you know, to a full one of these. And you do the same thing, okay? You see the spot, you spray it. And then you let it sit. The thing about these products, if this urine stain was really old, it may take overnight to disappear, okay? Um, as far as artificial coloring, same thing. So depending on how old the stain is, what's, what's it been treated with, um, you, want to, you want it to sit overnight. So, so what you want to do is, is uh, once you, once you see if it's an old stain, uh, treat it and check on it the next day. So I did... Um, videos on these products these two products uh they were uh competition videos against my professional grade stain remover red one against clear ammonia guess what guys the clear ammonia worked just as good as my red one not all clear ammonia is um considered equal i guess the uh walmart brand of ammonia is uh, the best, is what I'm told from guys that use this on a daily. The Wheeler Brothers, Joe Wheeler YouTube channel, check them out. And um, and they're uh, and now they're using a uh, odorless ammonia. I've never, I don't have any experience with that, but I know from um, testing it out and for for uh, you know. Uh, 
treating stains, especially with that. You know, uh, going head to head with my professional grade carpet cleaning. And I also did with that, uh, stain one, professional grade, worked just as good. So ever since I stopped using the, uh, or every since I did my battle of the spotters with 20 volume against my stain one, I stopped buying it. Saved me a whole lot of money. With that whole gallon there is only nine bucks, guys. By the time this gets to my door, it's about 30 bucks. And this is uh, a lot more, right? So anyway, uh, I hope you guys uh, got a lot out of this. Um, if you're at, you're a mother, so you know, you got kids, you got pets, and you're always trying to, to keep up with the, the spills and messes and, and going crazy and having to have to, to hire the carpet cleaners to come out and hit these spots. Um, you know, these are safe products recommended and i hope you like this video so if you like it go ahead and give a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see me in action um a carpet cleaning professional out there um uh getting these carpets clean and showing my methods and being transparent about everything go ahead and subscribe and uh we'll see you in the next video